Hi, I'm Paris, and I delayed doing this review about a week, which was almost a very costly decision. This is the As Seen on TV Magic Finder. It's a little tile-like device that you can attach to objects that you might misplace or lose. You download an app on your smartphone, and then it will help you find them when they get lost. They mention you can use it for your keys. They also mention using it for your dog. Turns out this past weekend we had a windstorm come through which blew down part of our fence, the part facing out onto the street, and our dog wasted no time in going exploring. We were the better part of an hour with our neighbors out looking everywhere for Pierre, but we did find him, got him back safely, that was great. But I'm wondering if he had been wearing the magic finder if it would have saved us a lot of time in searching and a lot of worry. Epic review the Magic Finder goes for about $20. We found it over at our local Fry's store. If you'd like to check it out online, I'll put a link to it down below this video. But I can tell you when our dog got loose on Sunday, we would have paid far more than $20 to have gotten him back safely right away. So if the Magic Finder does work well, Pierre may be sporting a new piece of bling on his collar from today. I'm gonna test this out with him, test it out in the house with the car keys. Now the distance is one thing. They say outdoors it has up to 150 foot range. So I know that isn't gonna find our dog if he's three blocks away. But what I'm thinking is driving up and down the streets, it would be almost enough to see if he's in anybody's side yard, part of their backyard. I think it would have been a much more efficient way to find him. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, oh, that's nothing. It's kind of thick. I imagined it would be a thin little thing, but there's really not much weight to it. I don't know if it's, um, there's like a little speaker thing in the back because you can make this beep to help you find things, but I don't know if it's water resistant. I can see him dunking this into his water bowl every time he takes a drink. Comes with instructions and the battery. I'm guessing they don't put it in in advance so it doesn't start being used up. This is supposed to last one year, this battery, which is a pretty good deal. So you don't have to take this and remember to plug it into a phone charger or everything every week. You should be able to go a whole year with this sending out a signal. I read the instructions on the Magic Finder. Pretty simple. You do put the battery in that they provided. They keep it out so you'll get a full year out of it, hopefully. Just unscrew this, pop the battery in, download the app, and um, tell it to connect to this device. And then very cleverly, they give you the option to take a picture of what this is attached to and to type in the name because you can have up to eight of these uh, connected to the app on your smartphone. So you could track your keys and your dog and you don't want to confuse which is which. The Magic Finder app is available both for Android and iPhones. I'm going to download and install it now. To add this as an additional connected device, click the plus up here. Select the device. Well, that's got to be it. Okay. I guess that means yes, you are successful. Now, I'll now take my keys and hide them in the far corner of the house. That submarine's got to be around here somewhere. I wish it made that sonar pinging sound. I really like that. Okay, we've removed a few walls. Still not getting any indication. Still no indication that it's found it. Well, hmm. I'm now in the same room with the keys. Right over here, behind the DVD player. There are the keys. What's going on? There's supposed to be a reverse thing so that you can um, push something here that will make your phone beep. Kind of use it in reverse to find your phone. If you have this but you can't find your phone, I think that's what this button is for. So yeah, we haven't got communication going either way. Not sure if this is related, but it's not showing up in my Bluetooth paired devices. I'm thinking the problem isn't with the electronics in the device itself. It's a software hardware glitch sort of thing. So I'm going to work on that. Now my phone is a Nexus 6P, a very new phone with Android version six. So it's possible that their app, their hardware doesn't work correctly with this yet. So I'm going back to my old standby, my ZTE Z Max with Android version 4.4. This time I stopped on the app's homepage to take a look at some of the other comments people have made about it. Um, and as you can see here, some other people have been having problems with the Bluetooth connection as well, but I'm going to download it and give it a try. <sighs> this does keep coming up. Your device doesn't power on. Please make power on state. Well, my Bluetooth is on. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi. Maybe that'll help here. 
Wi-Fi is off. Okay. Um, I don't know why it did that. It doesn't say devices powered off now. Hey, that's working because that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it sounds ill, but it's working. Okay, and then I think when I click found it, that tells it stop doing that. Yay, we're making progress here. Okay, radar time. It's radar love. Look, it's right there. So it found it. It's zero feet away, which is correct. Time to go hide the keys. Okay, I have taken the keys to the far corner of the house, back to where I normally record the videos. Let's see if we can find it now. Again, several walls between here and there. That might be an issue. It's on the other side of this wall, but it still doesn't seem to know it's there. We will go around through the hallway. Well, here we are, right next to it, and it's still acting like it can't find it. Hmm. Oh, okay. We actually. What? Who's doing that and why? It said we. It came to the conclusion we were out of range. All right. Let me restart the app. Hmm. Okay, so that just means we're all good. So I'm gonna go a little distance away. We're about 10 feet away. Let's try radar. And it actually accurately reflects that. Whoa, go back to radar. Okay. Now if I go further away, it should tell me that I'm getting colder. And what do you know, that works. I had thought, uh, I got beeping here and there. All right, okay, okay, okay. Well, it, you're lucky if you get 30 feet range in the house then. Okay, Pierre, what do you think of this? <laughs> you're not that interested in it? Okay, we're gonna put this on you and then we're gonna see if we can find you. Did you have fun running off down the street the other day? Was that just loads of fun? Yeah, not for us it wasn't though. What do you think of that on your neck? I'm thinking you don't like it. <laughs> Does it make you findable? The clanky sound it makes, you might be able to find you just by that. What do you think? All right, now you gotta go to the far side of the yard and I can see if the thing changes. Ready, set, go! And you gotta go to the far side. Go, go, go. Then I'll go, but you stay there. No, no, okay, then you go. I think I'm gonna have to go outside of the fence. That's the only way we're gonna get to test this out. It's looking for you. You're right on the other side of the fence. I'm not sure why it can't find you. Does the fence count as a wall? You already managed to take it off and lose it in the far corner of the yard. That's always possible, I suppose. Are you still wearing it, Pierre? I can't see it on you. Walk around so I can hear the jingle. Jingle jangle. Pierre, where'd the thing go? Pierre, you managed to lose it already? Oh my gosh, now I gotta come back there and look for it. Pierre, how did you manage to take that off? Yeah, tell me all about it. I'm not doing some plastic thing hanging around my neck. No way. Well, now we should see if we can find it in the grass with this. So that's what it's really going to be used for when your dog manages to take it off the collar. And then you got to find it. Cool. Okay. Now, here's the fence where Pierre was standing. Let's try radar mode. No. Oh. Well, how far away is it then if it's out of range? Where'd you take this thing, Pierre? Did you bury it in a hole? Oh, I suppose burying it in a hole counts as having a wall between us and it. All right, let's walk around the yard. Maybe it'll show up. Backyard's not that big. It's supposed to have a 150 foot range, unless you really did bury it in a hole that quickly. 
It should... Oh! I got sounds coming from over here. Oh! I think I see it. Here we are. Here's where you lost it, Pierre. That took quite... I had to get really close for that to work. What do you got to say about it? Pierre said he was no longer interested in participating in this review. So, I've got the magic finder. I'm going to just hang it on the branch of the bush here, walk away and see about that 150 foot range. I'm doing everything I can to make this work. I'm not putting it down on the ground. It's up here in the air. It should be easy to find, easy for the app to find. Now it's telling me out of range and going beep crazy, but it's right over there, about 30 feet from here. You detect it there, right? Or is this left over from last time? Well, we're certainly not within 15 feet. It's gotta be at least 30. I think it sees it. Well, that's good. So let's back up. Okay, I've gotta be about 50, yeah, 50 feet away. Out of range. There, hanging by the fence. Well, that was my experience with the As Seen on TV Magic Finder. I don't think Pierre's going to want to wear this, so we aren't going to keep it on his collar. And at least with this phone, my ZTE Z Max, that I was able to get it to work with via Bluetooth, it only seemed to have about a 50-foot range, even outdoors, clear line of sight, just about 50 feet. And I can see 50 feet. I was really hoping it would have that 150 foot range. So driving up and down the streets, I'd be able to tell if when my dog got away again, if he was in somebody else's backyard. You might have better luck with your phone. Maybe the Bluetooth will work better with this device and give you better range and better performance. Again, if you're interested in this, I have a link to it down below this video. This weekend, I am planning to go out with the kids and maybe the dog down to the creeks in the green belt to pan for gold. We've been sent the very latest in gold panning technology. The problem is I don't think there's any gold in the creeks around here in Central Texas, but we're going to give it a try. You can keep checking back for that video or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, it gives to the try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.